I will be the richest governor. APC governorship candidate reveals Nigerians react. <laughs> this is the APC uh, governorship candidate in Kogi State. And he is telling us that he will be the richest governor. He is the richest governor contesting uh, candidate now. And he will be the richest governor in, in Nigeria if he becomes the governor. Can you imagine? How this guy obviously is coming to steal <coughs> that state dry. He's, he has, he's not, he is not uh, there yet. He is already thinking how he's going to be the richest governor. Hey, go, go help us. I'm telling you. The All Progressive Congress APC governorship candidate in Kogi State, Usman Ododo, has said that he is the richest governorship candidate and he will be the richest governor in Nigeria. How did he get his money to become the richest governorship candidate? That is a big question to ask. What is giving him the impetus um, and the confidence to think that he's the richest governorship candidate and he's saying it boldly? Uh, so uh, is it that when he enters there, so when he starts stealing, we will not look at him um, because he, it's assumed that he, he had made his money before becoming governor? That is not true. Well, he will definitely, they will definitely look at him. So he needs to um, declare his asset and liabilities prior to getting the office if he eventually wins the, the election. But I, I'm wondering how this guy will be able to beat Dino Milaye of PDP in that state. He said this while addressing some delegates ahead of the Kogi state uh, for the November 2023 governorship election. In another video, Mr. Dodo was ahead describing himself as a married woman, a blunder that shocked many social media users. Can you imagine? <laughs> so he called himself a married woman. Why did he call himself a married woman? Many raised concern over his credibility and his reasons for contesting the election. Below are some comments on the Twitter. I've got a few comments from the Twitter. Someone said, uh, this is Shaku Samaila. Okay, Samaila. May God deliver the good people of Kogi State from bad governance. They are one of the backward states in the country. Kogi State is one hell of an unlucky state, Wallahi. Another person, Abdul Kadir Sadiq. This guy is on colors. If not be uh, meant, waiting be this rubbish wearing the yarn. I don't want to know the context of his speech, but this statement is surely not important. And that person says, civil servant, civil servant to claiming to be richest, uh, richest candidate. How did you get the money? State civil service for that matter whose director salary is equivalent to an entry-level banker. Yes. <laughs> Indirect message to EFCC that he has so much money so they shouldn't accuse him for corruption when he starts embezzling state funds. Exactly. He wants, he wants to distract people and turn people's eyes away from a direction. That is true. Man, hey, man doesn't have anything to offer to guides. Instead, he is aiming to collect from them. Exactly. Empty. Is that what will move the state forward? That, of course, that is not. Kogi not get luck with the governorship at all. Likes of Dino and this one. Now, wow. <laughs> because Dino go carry all their money. They'll take buy Rolls Royce, buy cars. That guy is Kafrik. Okay. So if Dino eventually becomes the governor of that state, that guy is going to uncontrollably... Uh, flaunt his affluence. I'm telling you, they should try and stop this good from talking. Last time, he was a good married woman. Today, he the richest candidate to be uh, the richest governor. This guy, skits, you know, with more than Bala Blue. Exactly. It's so sad that despite the level of intellectuals in the state, we are presented with this kind of candidate who won't even present himself, who can't even present himself before the public without always making a heavy blunder. Yes, he also declared himself as a married woman. This guy needs medical attention. And that is it. Okay, the guy needs medical attention, obviously. Medical attention. 
So if he called himself a married woman uh, sometime in the past, and now he is coming to tell the world that he is the richest can governorship candidate and is going to be the richest governor, then there is something wrong about him. We really, really, we need to look at him very well. You know, we need to look at him very well. So uh, this guy, uh, Dauda Ododo or so, is obviously, is it Dauda Ododo or what is his name? Uh, Usman Ododo is going to be the richest governor in the history of Nigeria. He's currently the richest governorship candidate. So what does that mean? It means that when he starts looting the state treasury, nobody should look at his side because he has already made his money before becoming governor. And that is not true. That is not true. Okay? That is not true. I think we really need to track his resources, track his income, track his assets before he becomes governor if he eventually wins. And unfortunately, these people without credibility are the ones that will win election through rigging. You understand me? We are going to a point where the who is who is that problem, why the, the, the people who are not supposed to have space in the, in, the, in, the, in the government are the people ruling. I don't know how this happened like this, got twisted like this. I don't know when we are going to get this kind of situation corrected in the history of Nigeria. Okay? Some people have said there that Kogi State not just get locked with governorship at all. Okay? With Governor Yaya that just uh, left office or uh, that is about to leave office by November this year after the governorship election. That guy was a blunder for the full eight years in, in, uh, in uh, Kogi State. The guy was almost the most corrupt governor in the history of Nigeria because of the way he behaved. And he's, and he's also seen to be the youngest governor, actually. But unfortunately, he has nothing to offer and he finished that state. And he's about to bring a clown, somebody that is more clownish than he is, to become the next governor. Because what they normally do is that when they are leaving, they bring somebody that is more foolish than they are so that they can control that person even when they have left office so that nobody will prove them or nobody will do them anything. I'm sure that is what he's trying to do to get this this Mumu uh, back to office. Somebody that is saying that he is a very good married woman. <laughs> I wonder the context he said it and where he said it. But <laughs> what will make him think he's a good married woman? Is he practicing uh, 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 same-sex stuff or what? Okay. So so that is what I, I see this guy that is not going to be a good governor. He's obviously going to loot the treasury of that state and then loot them dry. I pity the people of Kogi State, frankly speaking. Even the likes of Dino Melai, that he ordinarily being, uh, I think, a member of the House of Rev or Senate or so, he came back and he made so much money, was flaunting cars, flaunting affluence. Meanwhile, the, the senatorial district he represented is wallowing in abject poverty. So what do you say of that? Okay, Dino Melai is somebody who cannot hide the wealth if he gets it. And he's obviously going to get it if he becomes the governor of the state because he will be in charge of the treasury of the state. So, oh, man, Kogi State is in trouble. Kogi State is in trouble. The two of them that want to be governor, uh, both PDP and APC, have questionable character when it comes to handling of money. Ah, uh, Kogi State, sorry. <laughs>